How are you doing? How was your day? My day was awesome. I started the morning with Thanksgiving and the sun is setting and it ended with Thanksgiving. So I give God all the glory for that. I was able to listen to some praise songs during the day. In the course of the day, I found some time to listen to a track. Actually, it was more than a track. And during my break time, I opened to Jeremiah chapter 52 from verse 31 to 34. I pray that God will just speak to us right now as I read it. Jeremiah 52 from verse 31. It says, In the 37th year of the exile of Jeho, a chain king of Judah, in the year Ewell Marduk became king of Babylon, on the 25th day of the 12th month, he released Jehoiachin king of Judah and freed him from prison. He spoke kindly to him and gave him a seat of honor higher than those of the other kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiachin put aside his prison clothes and for the rest of his life ate regularly at the king's table. Day by day, the king of Babylon gave Jehoiachin a regular allowance as long as he lived till the day of his death so this jeremiah 52 31 to 34 gave me so much joy it's talking about a man who was a prisoner and he put aside his prison clothes and it just it just it just continued in the healing the healing process you know we need to put aside clothes that are depressing Maybe you're uh, wearing clothes that remind you of a trauma. He put aside the prison clothes, not just spiritually, but physically. Remember when Joseph met Pharaoh, he put aside his prison clothes. He shaved, he changed. In this new season, I want to encourage you to put aside the clothing of mourning and replace it with a garment of praise. Put aside the, the garment of complaining and grumbling and regrets and unforgiveness and replace it with a garment of joy. Be bright inside. And I pray for the grace to also be bright outside. And see what happens when he put aside his prison clothes. He was just receiving that favor let me just start from the, the beginning again. He was released. He was freed from prison. That's number one. They spoke kindly to him. Make people speak kindly to you in this season in Jesus' name. See, when, when things are happening in your life, I want you to understand that it's the favor of God. You've been released. When people are kind to you, when your co-worker is kind to you, that's the favor of God. Give him a seat of honor. In this season, you will receive your rightful seat in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So those steps happened in his life. He was placed in a seat of honor higher than those of the other kings who were with him in Babylon. So he was given his rightful place. And the next thing is he put aside his prison clothes. And for the rest of his life, ate regularly at the king's table. Day by day, the king of Babylon gave Jehoiachin a regular allowance as long as he lived. So this favor is not just about two days or three days. No, it's for the rest of your life. The prison, that era is over. It's permanently over in the name of Jesus Christ. The season of rising and falling is over. The season of hurt and bitterness is permanently over. There's a closure. It's now forward ever kindness and favor on every side in jesus name remember joseph when joseph was called out from the prison he shaved he changed his clothes that garment he never wore it again it was from glory to glory for the rest of his life in the name of jesus christ what looks impossible has become possible in the name of jesus christ isaiah chapter 60 it says arise and shine Isaiah 60 verse 1. For your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Verse 2 says, See, darkness covers the earth. 
Thick darkness is over the people, but the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears on you. Right now we receive the glory. We receive the glory. That's what we are wearing now. It's the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah 61 verse 3. Actually, let's start from verse 1. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. Right now you are wearing beauty instead of ashes. The oil of joy, come on now, it's time for joy. Joy is an oil. Joy anoints you. Joy covers you instead of mourning. And the garment, what you're going to wear is praise right now instead of a spirit of despair. In the name of Jesus, verse 7 says, instead of shame, you will receive a double portion. The era of shame is long gone, never to return. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing. You know, no matter the situation, no matter what people said, that remains the past. Let me tell you what you are clothed with, what you and I are clothed with. Verse 10 says, he has clothed me with garment 10B, garment of salvation. Now you're wearing garment of salvation, arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. You're wearing the robe of righteousness. Hallelujah. So wherever you go now, you can spread the love of God. You're, you're wearing the glory of God. You're clothed in the anointing. Ah, shere parapusa. Kwasi ileko sikala. Ilaka ijika izeke. I'm praying in tongues. Masariba ikara buseke riboshe. Maseke ribose ribori adiba rukoso. Makwa sukotokoto. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for the deliverance. Your deliverance is permanent. My deliverance is permanent. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. It's time for peace, rest, comfort. Father, forgive our sins and write our names permanently in the book of life. Father, I pray for the garment to remain. Nothing will strip your children of their garment of glory and their garment of rest healing and deliverance oh god thank you lord jesus christ in jesus name amen